Hello, my dears. It's nice to see you. My name is Teresa, and I'm here in Kamloops, British Columbia, on the unceded and occupied territory of the Shekwetmik people. Today, it is gray and rainy outside my window. The rain is coming down. So today, I thought we could sing two songs. Then we're going to read a story about road work and all of the big machines and people who are involved in building a road. Then we'll do a what's missing game. And then we'll do a poem and we'll say goodbye. So let's start with our bluebird song. Sing along if you know the words. written by Carmen Elizabeth Clark in 1947 and she was a nurse in Vancouver, British Columbia. The next song we'll do is about trains and I'm going to use my hands to do the actions. Down by the station early in the morning see the little puffer bellies all in a row See the engine driver pull the little handle. Chug, chug, toot, toot, off we go. That one is about trains chugging and tooting. So this book um, is very well loved and it got ripped, unfortunately. Um, I'll show you the cover. It's a little bit ripped, but it's called Road Work, and it's by Sally Sutton. The pictures are by Brian Lovelock. And we're going to learn many different machines, big machines in this book. So let's get started. Plan the road, plan the road. Mark it on the map. Hammer in the marking pegs. Ping, bang, tap. Those are the marking pegs. They're hammering the root. These two people are looking at the map to make sure the root is on the right path. Move the earth, move the earth, dig and cut and push. Clear a pathway for the road, screech, boom, whoosh. Those are some dozers pushing the dirt to make a path. They're cutting through the field. Load the dirt, load the dirt, scoop and swing and drop. Slam it down into the truck. Bump, whoomp, whoop. This digger has dug a hole. This is the dirt. He's dumping it into the dump truck. There's the driver. It makes a big crashing sound. 
Tip the stones, tip the stones, lift and slide and dump. Lay the groundwork for the road. Crash, roar, thump. The dozer is pushing those rocks. The dump truck is dumping. Pack the ground, pack the ground, roll one way, then back. Make the roadbed good and hard, clang, crunch, crack. You can call that one a roller. They, this rolling part is very heavy and it makes the roadway flat. Seal the road, seal the road, make it hot and squishy. Spread the sticky tar and stones, sploshy, splashy, splishy. This black tar is very hot when it goes on to the roadway. And these workers are helping to spread out the tar. So it covers all of the road evenly. Roll the tar, roll the tar, make it firm and flat. Spl squash it down and press it out. Squelch, spluck, splat. This orange triangle is called a pylon, pylon. And we put pylons um, somewhere if we don't want people to step there. So here on the road, it's not safe for people to step yet. So we put a pylon there to say, stay away. Stop the work, stop the work, time to break for lunch. Sandwiches and drinks and fruit, gulp, slurp, crunch. Looks like this person is having an apple and a banana for their lunch. And this person is eating a sandwich. They're all sitting together to have their lunch. Mark the road, mark the road. Give the paint a squirt. Paint the lines in nice and straight. Whiz, splop, splurt. They're painting the arrows on the road so that drivers can stay safe. There's some more pylons. And a paint can. Raise the signs, raise the signs, drag and hoist and ram. Force them down into their holes, thwack, whoop, wham. This sign has a bicycle on it. There must be a bicycle lane where bikes can drive safely beside the road. They're using a crane with a hook to put the sign up. It's very heavy, so they need a crane to help. Light the road, light the road. No one wants a crash. Test the lights and watch them shine. Flick, flack, flash. Look at all those lamp posts on each side of the road. This worker is checking the light box. 
they've put pylons on the road so that any drivers know to stay away. It keeps them safe. Plant the trees, plant the trees, dig and stamp and lug. Water them to help them grow. Drip, drop, glug. They're planting trees beside the road. Tidy up, tidy up, lift and load and sweep. Drive away those big machines, swish, chug, beep. This bulldozer is on the back of a big truck and they'll take it back to the yard so it can be used on another project. And here they're repairing that digger, fixing it with their tools from the toolbox. We always tidy up when we're finished a job, just like the construction workers. Shout, hooray, the work is done. Ready now, let's zoom. Drive along your brand new road. Toot, honk, vroom. There's a mail truck and a family car, a school bus. There's a van. And it looks like maybe an oil truck or a, or a tar truck. They can go fast on the new road. The end. So that was Road Work by Sally Sutton and the pictures were by Brian Lovelock. Shall we play a what's missing game? I'll show you what I have today. I have a crane with a hook, just like the one we saw in the story. Crane. Can you say crane? Crane. And here we have a pylon. Remember the pylon helps to mark the space where the workers are working. It helps to keep them safe. Pylon. And here we have a digger. Digger. So we have crane, pylon, digger. And we're going to play a what's missing game. I need a cloth. So I will cover these over and I'll take one away. You can guess. So remember we have a crane, pylon, and digger. Close your eyes. You can open them. What's missing? We have a pylon and a digger. What was here? Did you say crane? It's crane. Let's do it again. Close your eyes. What's missing? Crane, pylon, what was here? Did you say 
Digger? It's Digger. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Close your eyes. You can open them. What's missing? Crane and Digger. What was here? Did you say pylon? It's a pylon. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Now something funny has happened. Since I've been doing this video, it's sunny now. It was raining at the beginning and now it's sunny. But I still want to do my poem about, about rain by Robert Louis Stevenson because rain helps the flowers to grow and it gives the animals a drink. So we'll, we'll do our rain poem and then we'll say goodbye. Rain is falling all around. It falls on field and tree. It falls on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. Thank you for joining me today. See you again soon. Bye.